Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Welcome to day eight of Vlogmas 2022. My name is Tracy and I am the host of the Knitting on the Float podcast. And yes, we are back on the float house. It is chilly in Vancouver. We had gorgeous weather in London. Toronto was actually fairly bearable. And then last night, as I was landing, I looked down and I said, is that white stuff? On the ground and yes there is snow and cold and chill in the Vancouver area I'm hoping it's going to warm up now that I'm back home but we shall see today is a very exciting day for a couple of reasons first off I have traveled half of the world to make sure I was home in time today because my youngest son Nathaniel is going to be in Shrek the Musical at his school. There's a 1.15 show today and then an evening show. So we've got two tickets for the afternoon, two tickets for the evening. And I think probably what will happen is Isaac and I will go to the afternoon show. And hopefully I have enough energy to also do the evening show with Greg. And Isaac will be having a rehearsal of his own for a Christmas show that he'll be in uh, pantomime, so he can't make it. So all that pressure is on me, and uh, we'll hope that the jet lag doesn't quite settle in quite yet. The other exciting thing about today is that Danielle George, who is Little Bobbins, has released a Christmas Eve cast-on pattern, and... When I went to London, I had something very special in this compression bag. I hope it's not too compressed. Another, another compression bag. An empty project bag. This is often what I carry my camera around in. And then, in this bag, I have my special Tracy's Test Knits bag from Studio Brita. And inside this bag is my test knit for Little Bobbin's Christmas Eve cast-on pattern. So Danny has designed the By the Fire socks. So I am sitting by the fire, keeping nice and warm on this chilly day to share with you my test knit of the By the Fire socks. So for my test knit, I used gorgeous Viola yarns. I used this amazing skein, and this one is called Light Fireside. So perfect for by the fire socks. And look at those speckles on there. And this pattern uses three colors. So two minis or one mini and a little bit of scrap. And um, a, well, I didn't quite use the whole skein. I probably used maybe less than half. I'll have to weigh it. I used this gorgeous mini, which is called Evergreen, also Viola Yarns. And then my highlight color, Viola again, and this is Bright Mustard. And so my By the Fire socks were not blocked as well as I would have liked, but I'll put them on blockers in a moment. But these are my test knit version of the By the Fire socks. I did soak them and I laid them flat to dry. I put them on my feet and then laid them flat to dry so they are not as well blocked as I would have liked, 
but I'm actually quite pleased with them regardless of how they were blocked. And let's pop these on my sock blockers and then I'll go through it with you. The Christmas Eve cast on pattern is an annual tradition that Danny talked about. She likes to, on Christmas Eve, cast on a nice pair of socks. So when she's relaxing at the end of a really, really busy day, she talked about on her podcast how she would cast on usually a pair of socks on Christmas Eve. I have cast on socks in the past. I've cast on other projects as well. So it's been a fun tradition that knitters around the world have taken to. And in the past few years, Danny has designed a pattern specifically for the Christmas Eve cast on, and I have test knit it for several years now. So this is the on a sock blocker by the fire sock and it folds up and down so it's got a really neat construction you start off with the cuff and you make this little fancy bit it is not hard at all the cast on for the by the fire socks is actually super easy it is a top-down sock and you start off knitting the right side here, and then you do this little switcheroo, and it's all explained well in the pattern. And once you've done that, you then turn it so that you are now working with the wrong side at the top, and then you start with the right side. And you will see there is a little ribbed section in your main color so that gives it some nice elastic at the top of your ankle which is helpful for keeping your socks up and these are cute little shorty socks too and then it is just stockinette to the heel a beautiful slip stitch heel i always love danny's heels as well because she usually uses the square heel term and those ones are i find the most comfortable on my foot and the great thing about sock knitting is if a square heel doesn't fit your foot as well as you would like you can always change the heel turn to something that you prefer it's a very adaptable thing a sock is and then we go into a lovely gusset which gives that beautiful nice instep into the foot and I decided to put a contrast color toe on using the same color as I used in my bobble. So I now have a pair of Christmas socks that I can wear by the fire on Christmas Eve as I contemplate what my Christmas Eve cast on will be because I'm now done these ones and oh my goodness, that Viola, Viola yarn knits up so, so beautifully. And it was definitely a lot of fun keeping my project in my special Studio Brita Tracy's Test Knits bag. So, a beautiful pair of socks that I can now share. And I think while I was away, this was the only object that I actually finished. Oh, that's not true. I finished one wondrous dishcloth as well. But... Otherwise, I brought lots and lots of projects with me. I got little bits done here and there. I still have lots of whips to work on. I cast on a couple of new things, which I said I wasn't gonna do, but I did. But one great thing, I do have a finished pair of socks. And that is good because it is chilly here in Vancouver. Anyway, that is today's vlog a little bit shorter thankfully than the past couple of days i try to keep the vlog short but with being in london there's so much to see the first bit of the month was a little longer than i would normally like so the rest of the month i'm aiming for under 15 minutes for vlogs we'll see how we do there i am wishing you a wonderful wonderful day and 
I will see you tomorrow for day nine of Vlogmas. Bye. Before I leave you for today, I have to share with you Danny's version of her pattern, her by the fire socks. As always, Danny has used gorgeous colors. I believe she's used the wool barn and that blue with the white, and I think it's a very light brown, looks amazing, as all of Danny's knits look. Anyway, mine is a little bit more fiery and Danny's are definitely very sweet, a fabulous pattern to knit, and if you're looking for something for Christmas Eve cast on, I would highly, highly recommend it.